बट हियर वी आर द बेंगलुरु मैसूरु एक्सप्रेस वे आई एम कीपिंग माय स्पीड एट अ कांस्टेंट 100 दैट्स अ स्पीड लिमिट आउट हियर सो एज यू वर ड्राइविंग थ्रू मधुर टाउन and you had stopped at the traffic light they would approach you with the madhur vade with the sauteka and a bunch of other things i wonder what happens to all of them hi folks welcome to a new vlog for a change i'm not on the motorcycle i'm in my car the krista and for another change i'm not being driven i'm not in the back seat but i'm driving myself so today we are off to mysuru for a day trip for a long time i've been wanting to check out the new mysuru express way and i got up this morning i said let's do it and that's where we are heading to we're heading to mysuru on the new mysuru express way so stick around and i hope you enjoy this vlog So the only uh, bit of a challenge is that because we decided this a little late we've begun rather late by you know driving out on the highway standards it's about 11 in the morning google maps tells me that i should be able to make it in 2 hours about 145 kilometers so i think uh, at least uh, google believes that the new highway the new expressway has cut travel time substantially earlier if you were to drive to mysuru you knew you would spend about 3 and a half 4 hours on the road if you didn't leave by about 8 o'clock or so uh you know you knew it was going to be a long drive but today we leaving at 11 o'clock and uh, it says i'm going to be there in 2 hours 20 minutes or so which means technically i can be there in mysuru for lunch right and that's what we're going to do as well we're going to go to mysuru and find ourselves a nice spot for lunch i can see some red on the google maps so i suspect i'm going to be spending probably more time trying to get out of bengaluru as opposed to on the actual express way to mysuru Well we're just about approaching uh, Mysuru highway just crossed uh, Banashankri Pesit I think this is probably the most traffic that we would have gotten thus far but despite that it's been rather easy rather smooth sailing Well GPS wants us to take that beautiful loop and uh, go through nice road but Mysuru road is just down the road literally speaking so I think we'll take Mysuru road instead of going on nice road and uh, paying a uh, toll i'm sure we have to pay some toll on mysuru road too but why pay extra toll to nice road as well so it says 1 hour 53 minutes i don't know if the time is going to change now that we're taking a different route oh it's added 6 minutes it says 1 hour 59 minutes now this is about 11:40 now which means uh, we should be in mysuru by 1:40 which still isn't bad uh, to do lunch it's a decent time to do lunch and uh, i'm not going to be uh, in a terrible hurry to get to mysuru so i'm not going to really uh, flow the accelerator i want to basically enjoy the drive and uh, you know make it in a nice easy sort of a pace to mysuru so from where i live in koromangla mysuru road is about 12.2 kilometers so you need to calibrate your distance your time uh, depending on where you are based in bengaluru well we are on the mysuru bengaluru mysuru road officially a few moments later Well I'm just wondering if we should have taken nice road. We've uh, run into a few traffic snarls between uh, where we exited on Mysore road up until now. It still shows that we've got 1 hour 28 minutes so we should be still in uh, Mysore by 1:30 p.m. So time wise we are fine but I think you know from a drive perspective if you have the option to take nice road and uh, exit onto uh, the Mysore express way I think it certainly is something that one should do i would certainly do it the next time around
so that's where we would have exited had we uh, taken nice road would have definitely saved us uh, i think about 10 or 15 minutes or so but here we are the bengaluru mysuru express way so it's about uh, 21 kilometers that we've done so far uh, i've got about 120 kilometers to mysuru so like i guessed uh, we spent about an hour uh, in traffic in bengaluru up until this point i also suspect we may spend another 20 minutes once we exit this express way but for now we'll enjoy the drive Birdi is only five kilometers, but I don't think those uh, favorite uh, Birdi Thatta Idlis are accessible anymore, from what I've heard. And I think that's one of the downsides of this uh, expressway that you can't really stop unless you take a detour uh, to taste your uh, Thatta Idlis. What's good also is that there's fencing on both sides of the highway, but uh, I can see that in some spots people have taken the fencing out. You know the one thing I don't get enough example on the right side of the road. There's a truck and a tempo that are driving the wrong side. They want to avoid the toll or I don't know what the situation is, but they're driving the wrong side. No matter what infrastructure one can create, if we are the ones who are going to be doing things like that, what's the point? my arrival time in mysuru has uh, dropped so i'm going to be there at 122 pm now we've got about uh, roughly 110 kilometers before we hit mysuru Well, we just crossed the Ramnagar exit, which is uh, roughly about 46 kilometers from home. Not too far, actually. And I'm told the next exit is about 20 odd kilometers from here. So, unlike the old highway where you could just get off the highway on the next intersection, out here you need to plan your exits. And I must say that uh, it certainly is a road that's made extremely well, very smooth, buttery smooth for the most part. I'm keeping my speed at a constant 100. That's the speed limit. out here and you don't really need to push it too much those are the ramnagar mountains of course because everybody knows it by now but that's where the epic film shole was shot 30 40 years ago perhaps so what i like to do when i'm driving on the highway is always keep on the center lane allow enough room on both sides for those wanting to overtake and this also helps because sometimes you never know you know you'll have somebody from the left or the right dashing across the road Suddenly this just gives you that uh, split second mode to react on a lighter note this is also my policy in life take the center road neither left nor right be and adapt based on the situation I think there's somebody in front too who has the same uh, approach center of the road at 100 so I need to just overtake him quickly and get back find my center Madhur is 33 kilometers, but I wonder what happened to all those guys who would sell you the Madhur Vade. So as you were driving through Madhur town, and you had stopped at the traffic light, they would approach you with the Madhur Vade, with the Southika and a bunch of other things. I wonder what happens to all of them. That's also the sad part of progress. Sometimes you have all these conveniences, but somewhere something has to give. I think that's a part. That's a part of evolution. but i do hope that all those people who depended on uh, the traffic that ran through their towns for their livelihood i hope they've been able to adapt and do something else because this is a no brainer if you have this sort of a highway why will you take the old highway or it's absolutely brilliant such a breeze driving on this road I'm quite tempted the next time i should probably do a ride on uh, the fat boy this is ideal fat boy country Well, there was a minor exit to Chennai Patna, and I also saw 
sign there which said uh, Shivali restaurant. So I'm not sure if uh, Shivali is close by. Well, there's Kadamba right here. I think that's the one thing that you need to plan on this uh, when you're on the expressway. There's not too much food happening. So either you have your food before or after. For instance, in our case, I'm looking forward to doing lunch in Mysuru. So unlike the old highway where you could, uh, you know, stop at maybe 100 places along the way to get some tiffin tindi, out here uh, there's not much happening and you can't really stop on the expressway to eat something. So that's something else that you need to make sure that you follow because at the end of the day it's an expressway. If everybody were to stop for no good reason, you wouldn't be able to have the kind of smooth drive that one has now. Oh, I think that's Shivali right there. There's a KFC. So I suppose uh, you can take a little deviation, come to Shivali or a KFC or something like that. Oh, there's Vaishali as well out here. So Vaishali for non-veg and Shivali for some uh, Tiffin Tindi Uta. There are other places that we would typically see, I haven't seen any of them up until now. You know the one thing that I really find uh, which is uh, a big relief as opposed to let's say typical highways that you drive on is the fact that most of the highway, actually the entire stretch is barricaded. I have not seen anybody cross, dart across the road. Of course there are a, you know, the odd spot here or there where somebody may have removed the fencing on the side. But I have not seen a single person cross the road. I have not seen a single dog dart across the road. I have not seen a single uh, cattle. So I just saw a deviation which said Malwali, 27 kilometers. So if you want a route to Mysuru that is uh, rather scenic, I would definitely recommend the Malwali route. Of course, it's a narrow state highway, not as broad as this. But if you want to take in the scene, and uh, drive or ride. I don't see uh, us riding once they stop, let's say, motorcycles on this route. I think for motorcycles, the best route would be Malwali. And the good thing is that when you hit Malwali on the on route, you also hit uh, Pandur and Bannur, which is where you can taste some Bannur mutton. Well, I'm told that eventually motorcycles too will not be allowed. Right now, I think there are still a couple of, uh, there's some work still remaining. I'm not sure where because I don't really see evidence of it. I didn't really see any work happening up until now. We've just crossed uh, Madhur now. But eventually there will be no uh, auto rickshaws and no motorcycles as well. So I guess if I want to coast on this Highway on the fat boy, I should do it one of these days. I think somebody at the back has cut through the fencing and put up a prominent board for a Tate Idli. Of course, a Tate Idli should always be allowed, but you can't really cut through the fencing and uh, just put up a shop there. I think that's not done. You've got such a beautiful uh, expressway. I think we should uh, preserve it and use it like it was intended to be used. I think you just need to be a little careful uh, at the bridges that you come to because you suddenly converge, I think, from a broad four lanes to still four lanes, but I somehow feel that it just seems a little narrow at the bridges. And I think that's the only part where you need to probably be a little careful. Otherwise, it's very open road all over. But as you come to these bridges, and some of them are on a curve. Pandavapura, 27 kilometers. That's where we had Darsakubba Idli made by the late Mr. Shivappa. I'm told his son still continues the tradition. If you haven't caught that episode yet, you must definitely catch that. I'm going to place a link in the description below. We are now 29 minutes from Mysuru because we only have about 30 odd kilometers to go. We just crossed the second uh, toll plaza and it says about uh, 21 minutes, 20 odd kilometers to the center of town. 
it says that we will arrive in Mysore city around 1:40 p.m. But I must uh, say that we also stopped for a few minutes there near the toll, trying to see if we could get a thumbnail. And uh, otherwise, I think we would have been in the city by about 1:30 p.m. for sure. Well, we've just hit Mysuru. Uh, I think the center of town is about five or six kilometers from here, and I think it's probably time to end this vlog. So I must say I've, I'm quite uh, impressed with the Mysuru Expressway. It's taken us about roughly two and a half hours, less than two and a half hours of drive time from Koromangala to this point. And I must also say that we probably stopped for about 10-15 minutes along the way. So if we were not to do that, probably we would have done it in about two hours, two hours, fifteen minutes or so. And that too, we left at 11 a.m. in the morning. If you leave earlier in the day, I suppose you could do this in under two hours for sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do consider subscribing. It helps us in the work that we do. I'm looking forward to lunch in Mysuru, but that's the subject of another video, another episode, either here or on Food Lovers TV. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.